Hey guys, got a new video. Today we're going to do a crafting video for uh, how I made my chest here. This is a double elevated explode and increased effect of non-curse auras, ball regalia, or sacrificial garb. And uh, some people have been asking me how I made this or how do you even make this. And I know there's already a lot of guides out there, but I just wanted to make my own sort of... They, they are very fun to craft. Uh, a lot of RNG involved. Yeah, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, you gotta buy, I guess, the items you need. First of all, we have a sacrificial garb. Uh, this needs to be item level 85. Uh, you can actually buy a divination card. that will give you a six link level 100. So that's a little bit cheaper to do that. The reason you need item level 85 is because in order to actually roll the tier one explode mod, it needs to be item level 85. So yeah, definitely get one over item level 85. And there's a couple ways you can do this. I like to get the explode mod on my actual base that I'm going to use and the non-curse aura on a different base. And that's because it is a lot easier to roll the explode mod on with the with a uh, harvest. And it's a lot harder to actually get a to get two uh, redeemer mods. So your non-curse aura and your uh, secondary mod, so we can elevate it uh, on a chest. So actually, in this case, I actually just bought a pre-elevated one. I re recommend you do this as well. Uh, this did cost about six divines for this uh, the, uh, this elevated curse non-curse aura. So it is a little it is a little bit expensive, but definitely a lot faster and easier than doing it yourself. Because maybe you know if you miss. If you fail the elevation, then you're gonna start over again. You might end up spending a lot more than six to find. So just to be safe, I like to buy, just buy this pre-elevated, save you a lot of time and trouble. All right, now, how are we gonna get the uh, explode mod elevated here? And the way you do this is with uh, this orb of dominance. So basically you need to have two influence mods. So in this case, it'll be two crusader mods. One of them will be the explode and another will be some secondary mod. And it is very easy to get this, so let's get started. First of all, what I like to do is make it a rare item. Uh, we're going to use a Gilded Fossil, so we get this um, nice little tag on there. It's not going to overwrite the plus one to all vault skill gems, so don't have to worry about that. And then I had two uh, perfect fossils, so let's just see if we can get lucky and get some quality. we got 26. I guess we'll just keep it at that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this Crusader's Orb and we're going to apply the Crusader Influence. There's no space for mods. So uh, we'll, let's just do this again. And until we can actually apply it. And there we go. So we got the mod here. And then after that, uh, what we need to do is we got to go over to the Horde Crafting Station. And we will reroll with Fizz until we hit the T1 um, explode mod. And it's pretty common. It does have a physical tag. And on average, it'll take you about 10k or so life force. It's the vivid crystallized life force to actually hit this mod. So we'll be back once we actually get the mod. Would be nice if, like, the crafting bench, if you hover over craft, it shows you the item preview here. So you don't have to keep going up and down, but yeah. All right, let's keep going. All right, we did get it. This is actually tier one, so it's very nice. Actually got it a lot quicker than I thought. Now you don't actually really need to elevate this. Honestly, the explode mod elevated isn't really all that great. When you look at the difference, the tier one goes all the way up to 30%. And the elevated one goes from 31 to 35, and you just get a little bit of increased area of effect. So not really that important. You could actually save a lot of uh, money and time just by using it as it is. But, you know, for this video, we're going to do the, the elevate. So now that we have one mod, you can hold Alt and see if there is another uh, Crusaders mod. You can see that we only have, uh, oh, we do have two already. Okay, so that is nice. That's going to save us a lot of time. But what you can do is, if you only, say, have one, one mod, 
I guess we can show it in here. Let's um, let's put this inside the emulator real quick. And let's get it ready. So let's say we didn't have this intelligence. Okay, so let's say you, your item came out like this, right? Now what you would do is we go to your crafting bench and do prefixes can't be changed. Then we go over to harvest. I did actually want to show this step, but we did get lucky. So we're going to do a reforge critical. Now, there is only one critical mod that can roll, and that's going to be the power charge uh, mod. So we do this, and you can see we get the power charge on crit. So you can see the only uh, crit suffix is this power charge on critical strike. There is no crit mod that can roll normally. So it's 100% guaranteed that you get this power charge on critical strike. So then you'll have two uh, influenced mods on your item. In this case, we already have the int. Uh, so let's go and do the next step. All right, so now is the big um, gamble part. We have 50% chance to elevate or explode. <clears throat> if we fail, we go back to the harvest spam step so let's pray we get it in one hit and we did it. nice all right so now we have elevated explode uh, it actually rolled very nice and it actually got some life it doesn't really matter though at this point because we are going to combine these two now and we use the orb of uh, awakener's orb so um, this will just take one item and apply it to this uh, you have to make sure there is only one mod one elevated, uh, what do you call it? Not elevated, one influenced mod. In this case, it is the only, the only mod we have is the non-curse aura mod. Check this by holding Alt. So we're gonna right click on the base we wanna merge and then go to the base we wanna keep. And now we basically just pray that <laughs> we got three life, okay? So we did get a nice fire uh, roll. Now we can craft on the percent life, so it's not the end of the world. There is an open suffix. So I think what we do now is we go and craft on... Well, it actually rolled very nice on the aura effect. Okay, so we craft on life, the percent life from betrayal. It is somewhere here. Here we go. And then we will do a lucky exalt and hopefully we get like dex or strength. What do we get? Reduce attribute requirements. Okay, perfect. Well, so this is done. Now let's give it a uh, quick price check. So we have elevated this. Okay, there is actually none. Let's get rid of this life. Maybe tone down the resistance a bit. And let's go check on trade. Okay, so this has a crafted resistance. So, uh, not really. Let's find something that kind of looks like the one we have. This might be something similar. So, about I'd say about something like this. 25 divines or so. This one is going for 45 divines, but you see it does have a tier 5 life roll and some nice regen and stuff like that. So I'd say ours is anywhere between 25 to 30 divines. I'll probably try to just put it up for 30 and lower it as time goes on. Because the rolls are very nice. See, this one is only 28%. This one's also only 28%, 27%, 29%. Let's see how much a perfect roll would cost. There is no perfect rolls. So I say we'll put this up for 30 divines. And yeah, so that's how it goes. This craft did go a lot better than I expected. This time around, uh, when I crafted my original one, it failed a few times. 
But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, very simple, a lot of RNG. And if you... When you merge the items, if you get some, you know, good rolls, then yeah, it's nice. But if not, then just sell the base and do another one. Alright, well that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.